66% of consumers that buy your stuff, they say they prefer watching video in order to learn or to be entertained over reading. And so if you're only doing a written blog or if you're only writing emails, you're missing out on the way that your consumers want to consume your content and therefore get hooked on you and your product. Welcome, everybody. This is For the Love of Money, where we are making you unapologetic about your pursuit of success by sharing the tools, tips, and stories of those who have already made it. My name is Chris Harder, and each week I will bring you incredible guests in order to prove that when good people make good money, they do great things. Hey, everybody, welcome back to another amazing episode of For the Love of Money. Today, we're going to talk about growing your business. And in particular, one thing that we are doing and that we're advising all of our clients to be doing for not just the rest of 2020, but to make sure that you are doing for all of 2021. If you're building any kind of business, whether it's an online business, whether it's a brick and mortar business, whether it's a network marketing business, whether it's a coaching business, whether it's a fitness business, it does not matter. This one thing that I'm going to share with you today, you must be going in this direction. You see, we've got these five initiatives for us, for our business, for our team personally. These five marketing initiatives that we have moved into to make sure that we can win for the rest of 2020, but in particular, absolutely crush and be fully up to speed uh, at the same rate, if not better, than everybody else out there for 2021. And this one idea that I'm going to share with you, this is one of the five marketing initiatives that we personally are taking on as our ethos in our business. And here it is. You ready for this? You, no matter what you're selling, no matter what your business is, you must now become a media company. Yes, you heard that right. If you're a fitness business, if you're a coach, if you're a network marketer, if you're a brick and mortar gym, if you're a retail store, that is what you, that is how you sell. That is how you deliver your product. But at the core, you must now become a media company because your goal is to be omnipresent. That's the term I want you to take into the rest of 2020 and, of course, 2021. Your goal is to become omnipresent. Now, here's what I mean by omnipresent. You need to produce timely, relevant content, not some of the time, but all the time in your area of business, right? So you've got clients that look up to you for a certain area of expertise. In that area of expertise, you need to produce timely, relevant content all the time around your business. As a matter of fact, he or she that produces the most free content for the rest of 2020 and all of 2021 will win. Let me repeat that. He or she who creates the most relevant, and think about we are in some fast change in times right now. He or she who creates the most relevant content for the rest of 2020 and 2021 will be king or queen of your industry. I don't care what your business is. And so here's a quick hack on how you can do that. It's called create and multiply. I know right now you're saying, Chris, I've got kids. I've got a significant other. I've got my business or maybe a couple of them. I don't have time to become a media company. Yes, you do. Here's what you do. You create and multiply. You do it by using video as your main platform and then repurposing it in many different ways, which I'm going to explain right now. So number one, video is the most efficient way to be omnipresent because you can repurpose it in like five different ways. Think about it. If you sat down and recorded three 15-minute videos once a week, that's only 45 minutes a week of your time. And then here's what you can do with that 45 minutes of video content. Number one, the videos itself, they can sit on your YouTube or any other video platform. And that's one platform of media out there from your sitting down for 45 minutes a week. But then here's the best part. Those videos can also be transcribed into blogs so that you can have it sit in blog form and tilt SEO in your favor, driving people to your website. And you can email out those blogs as email content to three, 
four times a week. Because again, remember, he or she that produces the most content is king or queen. So not only do you let the video live on a video platform such as YouTube, but then you get it transcribed into a blog and you email it out to your email lists, your text lists, and even just have it sit on your website as, a, as an actual blog or a list of blogs. Now, here's the best part. You can then strip the audio from that video and you can turn it into podcast episodes. So that's your third platform now, right? Talk about being omnipresent. Then you can take those videos and you can cut them up into bite-sized social media posts. I highly recommend IGTV. I highly recommend uh, Reels. I highly recommend TikTok. You can chop them up and put them on your social media posts by this one moment that you sat down once a week for, for just 45 minutes of time. And then lastly, you can take all of these assets and you can use them to distribute to all of you and your partner's lists as well. You can share media. You can email out some of their media and they will email out some of your media and share audiences. And this is where if you got scarcity mindset kicking in, you got to beat this. You can't say, wait, I don't want to share my customers with them. No, you got to think of it the other way around. The person who consumes, consumes your media also wants to consume your friend's media. People are media junkies, right? They're information junkies. Like someone who reads Jack Canfield's book, they don't just read Jack Canfield's book. They also read Lori's book. They also read, um, you know, whoever, whoever else is Lewis Howell's book. They also read Jay Shetty's book. They read everyone's books. People are information junkies. So you should be sharing these blogs, these video clips, these other things on your friends and partners' platforms. Now, if you do all these things, these are five different ways that you repurposed 45 minutes worth of video to become omnipresent. And by the way, video is no longer just a nice to have. It's a must have right now. And here's why. People right now spend about 100 minutes a day watching online videos on social media platforms uh, right now for the second half of 2020 into 2021. That is up from 84 minutes last year. Now that 16 minutes may not sound like a lot, but that's a 20% increase. And here's another quick tip for you. 66% of consumers that buy your stuff, they say they prefer watching video in order to learn or to be entertained over reading. And so if you're only doing a written blog or if you're only writing emails, you're missing out on the way that your consumers want to consume your content and therefore get hooked on you and your product. And here's a side note, guys. You don't have to be perfect. It's actually better to keep it conversational. The majority of people kind of want it not underproduced, right? You can't have a bad background and bad lighting, but they don't want it overproduced. They want it to just feel real and relatable. And so this is stuff that you can film these 45 minutes on your freaking iPhone or whatever phone that you have. You don't need a team. You don't need any of this stuff. Now, you do need a team to do this efficiently in terms of go to rev.com, rev.com, and you can have everything uh, captioned for about a dollar a minute on your videos because you do have to have them captioned. Number two, to get these transcribed into a blog. Let's see, I'm trying to remember where to go to get it transcribed into a blog. I think it is... Oh, it's slipping my mind right now. But if you guys message me, I'll I'll hit you back with what it is. Wait, I think rev.com will also do it into a blog for you. If not Upwork, you can definitely find someone to do it, uh, transcribe your videos into a blog. And that only costs about a dollar a minute. So we're talking about $45 a week here to have this transcribed into a blog for you. Um, and you can have somebody on upwork.com chop this up into your IG and Facebook video content as well. So you're really looking at probably an investment of 45 minutes of your time. And then to repurpose all of this, maybe, maybe, $90 to $180 a week. And if that sounds like a lot of money, you have to understand that's money very efficiently spent towards growing an audience that obsesses with you week in and week out. I, I feel like becoming a media company right now, no matter what you're selling, becoming a media company right now is the absolute direction to go if you're going to win in 2021. And you're seeing people out there be great examples of this. Like go check out bossbabe.com run by our friends, Natalie and Danielle or influensive.com run by my friend, Brian, Brian Evans. 
um, or even Pop Sugar is an example of this. You get a bunch of contributors. Remember, I said be sharing with your partners. Post their stuff; they'll post yours. You get a bunch of contributors so that you have lots of content, and you get to control all of that traffic. I want you to remember this last thing. Right now, and especially right now, he or she that controls the media wins. And how do you control the media? You become the media. So we're doing this. We are doing weekly video, turning it into multi-repurposed content with the entire goal of being omnipresent. That's your goal right now through 2021, becoming a media company and becoming omnipresent by investing maybe $90 to $180 a week and 45 to 60 minutes of your time. Imagine if those were the only two changes that you had to make week in and week out in order to double your business or triple your business or quadruple your business. Because I promised you that's what will happen if you're consistent with this. I'm not even kidding. We're committed to it. I want to know if you're committed to it. Tag me in some of the stuff that you're repurposing out there. I'd love to see it. And as always, you can hit me up with business questions on Instagram at Chris W. Harder. And in the meantime, you know what I always say? When you actually are consistent, you get this going, it's when the money's going to come pouring in. When good people like you make good money, they do great things. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who is as successful as they are generous, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you help me get this cause and this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way if you take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. And until the next episode, cheers to your success.